Hi everyone, welcome back to some more 3D printing. I'm often in Flowalistic and today I'm going to show you how to play music with your 3D printer. Some weeks ago, a designer called Dave Hackens released a video called Stop Printing Crap. He created the precious plastic project and I really, really admire what he's doing. Well, in the video he showed some crap that was being printed and my designs represented a big percentage of the crap that he was talking about. I believe he's right and I wanted to do something about it. That's why on this video I will show you how you can use your 3D printing to do something awesome but without wasting plastic. Dave, this week's video is dedicated to you. The only thing you will need is a, an FDM 3D printer and some music. Now I want to show you the process and some details you may want to know to improve the music quality because there are many things you can work with. The first thing we need to do is download some music. It's very important to download it in MIDI format I'm going to use some Mario Bros music because I'm very geek and also because I already knew there were many MIDI versions of Mario Bros video games music. Know that you can find almost any song in MIDI format, you just need to search for the song or video game soundtrack plus the word MIDI. Once we've got the MIDI file, we need to go to the MIDI to Gcode Converter page. I've left a link in the description and this online converter is literally the only thing you need to use. You just need to upload the file you just downloaded and analyze it. The converter will take you to another page where you will need to fill some boxes and select some important settings. First thing, I'm working with millimeters and not inches, so I will select millimeters. Then, as I'm using my Ultimaker original, the three axes that will play music will be X, Y and Z. I guess that for a Delta 3D printer it would be different, but I've never used one, so I'm not sure how the different axes are named. On the other, on the second line there are different options. The first option, number of axes, is really important. I think it's the most important one and we will be back to it in a second. The channels option will let you play with the different channels from the MIDI file. If you don't know about music, I suggest you to leave all of them checked as each instrument is linked to a channel and the music will sound different if you leave some of them unchecked. The steps per millimeter numbers are unique to each 3D printer. An FDM 3D printer uses stepper motors which move step by step. Depending on the belts, lead screw and pulleys you use, the axis will move more or less millimeters for each step. In my case, as I use an Ultimaker, I just visited the GitHub repository and checked the firmware. If your printer uses Marlin firmware, you can find the steps on the configuration.h file. Once we've got the information, we just need to fill the boxes with the steps per millimeter. These numbers are really important, and they must be correct as the music is played moving those axes. Then the next box we need to fill is much easier. Here we just need to tell how big the printer volume is, and we don't want the printhead to crash, so they must be exact. In my case, I didn't insert the real values. I put smaller numbers. Just be sure that you don't give bigger numbers than the actual size because it will crash. Now we are going back to the number of axes option. Well, this is very important for a reason. An Ultimaker has identical X and Y axis, which means the sound level will be the same. However, the third axis, the set axis, uses a lead screw and the sound level is much higher, making, in my opinion, a terrible noise when playing music. Let me show you the difference between using two and three axes. Yeah. 
yes, as you can see, it sounds really different. With two axes, the music is clear, but with a low volume. With three axes, it sounds louder, but there is a lot of noise in my opinion. It's up to you to decide if you use two or three axes to play the music. It depends on your printer and the MIDI file you are using. In my case, I prefer using only two. Well, after setting all the options, we just need to click on Create G-Code and it will automatically generate it. We just need to copy the G-Code to the SD card or the printer and play it. As you can see, it is super, super easy to make music with your 3D printer. You just need to download or create a MIDI file and use a Gigo, the Gigo converter I just showed you. Also, you don't need a good printer to play music with it. That's the good thing. I would even say that the noisier the printer, the better it will sound. I've left some links in the description below. And if you have any questions about, about the process, use the comment section below. I promise I will do my best to help you. Also, please share on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook or wherever you want the music loop you play with your printer. I would love to check it. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and check my Patreon page. And also huge thanks to all my supporters. I hope you've enjoyed with this little music lesson and see you next time.